Then the follow-up was talking about velocity. And the easy way to explain this, I like to use when I do my system design class, is uh, we have a design friction loss of 0 0.08. And I tell the class that first room that we're going to be running a branch duct to needs 120 CFM. So everybody in the class will go uh, 120 CFM and they'll go to the design friction rate and they realize it falls directly in the middle between a six inch run and a seven inch run. And I always ask them, well, which one do I use? And a portion of the class says six. Most of them say seven because they think bigger is better um, or it's quieter or they don't quite understand velocity and they're not wrong. The bigger duct with the same volume of air will be quieter. But there are parameters on do I do six or do I do seven? There's actually uh, a recommended maximum velocity and minimum velocity, right? So if you guys didn't know, if you're running supply branches and you're using hard metal, your recommended velocities are between six and 900 feet per minute. You need at least 350 feet per minute to actually throw the air into the room. Most supply registers are designed for 350 feet per minute. But of course, as you have pressure loss and equivalent length, by the time you get down there to the to the actual uh, register, your 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 feet per minute is going to continue to drop because you have pressure loss. If you're using branch like uh, flex duct in the supply, they actually will allow you a little bit higher velocity at 700 to 900 feet per minute. But what a lot of people don't realize is the fitting equivalent length values are actually based on 900 feet per minute or less. So if you have a velocity that's higher than 900, it actually impacts the friction loss, not just how much air you're getting. It changes the design. You can't have something that high of a velocity and not expect it to be noisy and mess up the rest of the ducts down the road, right? So that's the first thing. Now, of course, on the return, you want a little bit lower velocity, right? So when you're sizing branches, and uh, trunks in the return is 500 to 700 feet per minute. And what a lot of people realize is that means my returns are a little bit larger than my supply because it's moving slower through that, right? You don't use a different uh, friction loss to size it. You just have different recommended maximums when it comes to velocity, okay? That's for balanced friction loss systems. Typical manual D, residential manual D. Hi, I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog, and I want to thank you for watching my videos every week. If you'd like to help support our channel more, head over to my Patreon page where I have options for as little as $8 a month. If you'd like to join the HVAC Design Society and get your questions answered, like I just showed you, we do this monthly for our elite members. So, a special shout out to all those HVAC Design Society members in order to help feed us with content and supporting the channel while getting your questions answered. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.